almost Halloween. Cora made these earrings, in fact. Hi, friend. And if your name is McKinley Bell, then your grandma is heading back to Fort St. John with some earrings to show you and your mummy. And I'm inspired by our conversation on the phone. You were being silly when I talked to you on the phone. You were having a bath. So today I'm going to read you a story from this book by Alan Katz. That's the name of the person that wrote these silly poems. And the person who drew the pictures is David Catro. So this poem really is about you. You know why? Because this little girl in the story, her bath started on April 22nd and she had to have a bath for three days so she could be ready for her birthday. And her birthday was on April 25th. That was the little girl's birthday. And this is the little girl. And this little girl is eating and drinking in her bath. Your mom and dad love sports. And I know your dad loves baseball. Do you like baseball too? There's a song about baseball, and it goes like this. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I... This story sounds like that. Are you ready? Okay. I'm still here in the bath tub. I'm so clean that I squeak. Mum brought me some food to enjoy. I decided to float it on toys. Oh, this tub's like an island on which I've been marooned. Marooned means she got stuck there. I think her mom forgot about her. I am wrinkly wrinkled so much. You can call me a prune. Prunes are wrinkly. I'm still here in the bathtub. My face cloth has turned into threads. The soap is all gone and there's no shampoo. Please lend me a hand or send a canoe. I know my bath's important and I don't mean to complain. If I don't get out of this tub really soon, I'm afraid that I'll go down the drain. I'm still here in the bathtub now. It feels like a week. How many times do I have to rinse? I scrubbed away all my fingerprints. They're all gone. I scrubbed them away. Oh, I think someone's coming. Now there's a knock at the door. Please don't take me out. I just need five minutes more. That's the end. That little girl might have been exaggerating. I don't think her mom gave her any food in the bathtub. Hi, friend. You're not supposed to eat and drink in the bathtub. You're not supposed to read books in the bathtub. Do you see anything else that's a little bit silly about this bath? the dog doesn't have a bath. Okay, that's it for today. That was just a silly story for a silly dilly little girl and I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it and you want more stories, just ask. Bye!